Welcome back to the Crypto Bot Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, the US dollar is crashing below critical support, which creates a rare opportunity for Bitcoin. So I'll be talking about that in just a moment, alongside some massive Bitcoin and crypto news today. So definitely stick around. First of all, starting off with some crypto news today, and now technically this broke yesterday just after I recorded my last video on the channel, but as always, I was sharing all of this new news over on my Twitter in real time. So if you don't follow me over on my Twitter, make sure you're doing that. The link is down below in the description and in the pinned comment for real time updates throughout the day. But basically, as you probably already know by now, XRP was just labeled as not a security after the SEC for a couple of years now has been trying to call it a security. And so this is actually a very big deal, not just for XRP, but really for the overall altcoin market. Because if XRP is no longer labeled a security, that means that a lot of the altcoin market can no longer be labeled a security, which basically means the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, doesn't exactly have jurisdiction over a lot of these altcoins that they're trying to label as securities, which in reality are aren't. And in case you're wondering why an altcoin being labeled as a security is considered bad for that altcoin is because basically if an altcoin is labeled a security, then it means it cannot be listed on US exchanges unless those exchanges apply to be registered with the SEC as a securities exchange. And as we all know by now, the SEC loves to deny any applications in regards to crypto. For example, we see what the SEC has done with a lot of spot ETF files. Links. And the SEC has also gone after a number of exchanges and even stable coins like BUSD, for example. So at least as of right now, the SEC isn't exactly kind to crypto, which means if a crypto coin is labeled as a security, then that basically means there's little to no chance of that coin being listed on any major US exchanges like Coinbase, for example. And because a lot of liquidity, a lot of capital is in the US, if a coin or a project has no access to that capital in the US, then that basically means there's a lot less demand, even if that's artificially reduced, there's a lot less demand for that coin and therefore it can suppress the price. And so that's essentially why it being labeled as a security is not really a good thing, at least with the current SEC. So with that in mind, you can see why this is very bullish news, not just for XRP, but for a lot of the altcoin market. Basically this new ruling saying, that Ripple XRP is not a security, which by extension would mean a lot of the altcoins out there are not securities, which are bullish for the altcoins. So that's why we saw a decent spike to the upside for a lot of the altcoin market, and especially for coins like XRP over the last one day or so. But that is not all. We also have some Bitcoin news today. As you can see here, Europe's first Bitcoin ETF is set to launch this month, and this is not just any ETF, it is indeed a spot Bitcoin ETF, which is big news because basically there's two main types of Bitcoin ETFs that have been launched around the world. There are futures Bitcoin ETFs and spot Bitcoin ETFs. First of all, the futures Bitcoin ETFs don't really need to actually buy into Bitcoin to back those ETFs. They're essentially just investment contracts, pieces of paper you're essentially buying. Whereas a spot Bitcoin ETF, if you're buying a spot Bitcoin ETF, then whoever is managing that ETF has to essentially buy Bitcoin on the spot market, actual Bitcoin, in order to back that ETF. So therefore, the value of the ETF tracks the value of that Bitcoin that is backing the ETF. So essentially, a spot Bitcoin ETF creates actual demand for actual Bitcoin, whereas a futures Bitcoin ETF doesn't necessarily create actual demand for the real Bitcoin. And so once again, this is is big news for Bitcoin moving forward, having the first spot Bitcoin ETF officially launch in Europe very soon. And when you combine this with the fact that XRP and also by extension, a lot of the altcoins should no longer be labeled as securities, this potentially means that there's pretty much little to no reason left for the SEC to deny any spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US. So possibly we could be seeing spot Bitcoin ETFs coming to the US soon, obviously 
Obviously, that is speculation. Nothing has been confirmed as of right now for spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US, but we do know that major players like BlackRock and Fidelity, for example, are filing for spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US. And obviously, those companies manage tens of trillions of dollars. So even if just 1% of their assets under management flow into Bitcoin with any new spot Bitcoin ETF, if that gets launched in the US, then obviously that is a big deal for Bitcoin. But anyway, now getting into the charts, this right here is the US dollar currency index or the DXY. And it basically shows how the US dollar is performing against a basket of other fiat currencies. And so essentially, if this chart is going to the downside, that means the US dollar is really going to the downside against a lot of other currencies. Whereas if this chart goes to the upside, that means the US dollar is very strong. And this right here, by the way, is on the weekly time frame. So each one of these candles is an entire week. So as you can see here, pretty much this entire year, in fact, since around October last year, the US dollar has actually been trending down. But it's only just now that the US dollar currency index is currently breaking below critical support. And so obviously, this is a very bearish signal for the US dollar, which is actually a very bullish signal for Bitcoin versus the US dollar. Because obviously, when you value Bitcoin against the US dollar, if the US dollar is going down in value, then it doesn't really take much to put Bitcoin up in value against the US dollar. And we can see exactly that's happening here on the larger scale. This is on the Bitcoin chart on the weekly time frame. The candlesticks are the Bitcoin price. And this red line right here is the DXY, the US dollar currency index, zoomed out a little bit further. And as you can see right here on the chart, any time where we see a significant drawdown in the US dollar, in the US dollar currency index, that almost always coincides with a bullish market. As you can see right here, we saw exactly that during late 2016, entering into 2017. And if you're simply looking at the Bitcoin price during that time, obviously that was extremely bullish for the price of Bitcoin during this same time where the US dollar was crashing. And then we saw the exact same thing back during 2020, entering into 2021. Once again, the DXY, the US dollar currency index, was losing a lot of value, while on the flip side, the Bitcoin price was gaining a lot of value. We were extremely bullish during the exact amount of time where the US dollar was losing value. And we are also now seeing the exact same thing, once again, as we've seen since around the end of last year. Obviously, since then, the price of Bitcoin has been very bullish from around 15,000 to now above 30,000. And it just so happens that this has occurred once again, while the US dollar has been losing value. And so obviously, with the US dollar trending to the downside on the weekly time frame and now actually breaking below critical support, this is simply a massive bullish signal for Bitcoin when you're talking about the larger timeframes. Obviously, this is not talking about the short term moves, as in it doesn't mean that we're going to be bullish tomorrow or in a few hours, but instead it's talking about the much larger moves in the market, the multi month long moves. And it's also no coincidence that the US dollar currency index was going to the upside during the exact same times where we saw a lot of bearish price action in the price of Bitcoin. Obviously, as we can see here back in 2014, the DXY, the US dollar was spiking in value. It was shooting to the upside. And during that exact same time, we saw a major bear market during 2014, entering into 2015. And we also saw something very similar back during around 2018, entering into 2019. Obviously, the US dollar was gaining in value during that time at the exact same time where the Bitcoin price was losing a lot of value. And we also saw the exact same thing during the late stages of 2021, entering into mainly 2022. Obviously, during 2022, we saw the US dollar spike in value massively. And at the same time as that, we saw a major Bitcoin crash, obviously a bear market during 2022, which has now essentially reversed alongside the US dollar. 
So this is definitely something to keep in mind moving forward when you're looking at the larger multi-month long moves, aka the bear markets and the bull markets. But anyway, now taking a look at the four-day Bitcoin chart. And right now, as of recording this video, the price of Bitcoin is attempting a possible breakout above this strong resistance sitting at around 31,000. But at least as of right now, we have not yet confirmed a weekly candle close above this strong resistance. So at least for now, technically this resistance is still currently intact. We have not yet confirmed a breakout. But with that being said, obviously, as I've been saying pretty much every day since the beginning of this year, we're still looking very bullish in terms of the larger multi-month long trend. And now if you're taking a look at the daily Bitcoin chart, as you can see here, the price of Bitcoin is attempting a breakout above this important resistance. But once again, we ideally need to see a weekly candle close well above 31 thousand in order to further confirm this breakout. And on top of that, it's possible that we could be forming a new bearish divergence here on the daily time frame. Because first of all, as of right now, we have now invalidated this previous bearish divergence right here, because obviously the price of Bitcoin has confirmed a new higher high in the daily candle closes, which means we would have to reconfirm a new bearish divergence. But at least for now, that is a possibility moving forward, because as of right now, we're still sitting in higher highs in the price action. But if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin RSI, at least for now, this is still currently sitting in lower highs. And so once again, this could possibly be a new bearish divergence, but we still need to confirm this potential new bearish divergence with at least one to two red daily candle closes confirming. So once again, as of right now, we simply do not have any active bearish divergence. It's just a new one could be forming. And as for the daily Bitcoin MAC, D. Right now, this is still looking relatively neutral in the short term because it's still showing very low momentum in the short term. But with that being said, it is currently moving towards a possible bullish cross, which we could see in the coming days if we stay on the current path. And now just staying on the daily time frame, looking at those Fibonacci extensions, obviously these have not changed over the last one day. So the next important Fibonacci extension is still sitting at around 37,000. If we first First, further confirm the breakout above that 31k resistance. And once again, as I've said recently on the channel, another reason as to why I would next be targeting 37,000 if we further confirm this breakout is due to the fact that that is also the technical price target for this potential bullish flag pattern. And as of right now, we are potentially seeing a retest for this bullish flag pattern. Technically, we have seen an initial breakout on the eight hour time frame right here. But once again, in order to really be confident that we're actually breaking out, we ideally need to hold above this previous resistance and confirm that now as new support. And once again, ideally see a strong weekly candle close well above this resistance in order to become more confident that we're actually breaking out above this resistance. And now if you're zooming into the shorter term, this is on the three hour Bitcoin chart. And as of right now, at the time of recording this video, the price of Bitcoin essentially broke to the upside above this short term resistance but is now actually breaking back below it, which essentially means this should still be acting as a bit of short-term resistance, once again, at approximately 31.3K. But as for support, if we actually continue a little further to the downside, we should now find support in this region, sitting in between around 30.8K to 31K. And below that area, if we break back below 30.8K, then in that case, we also still have this short-term area of support in between 29.9k to 30.1k. And so as of right now, considering where the price of Bitcoin is in this sideways price range, we're looking relatively neutral to bullish because obviously we're potentially on the edge of a breakout here. That's why I'm saying neutral to bullish. But the reason why I'm not saying fully bullish and actually neutral to bullish in the short term is because once again, we're trading back below this short term resistance. And we also still need to see a little bit more confirmation for that potential breakout above 31k. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, as of recording this video, the price of ETH is running into this important level of resistance, which is sitting at approximately 
20. But if you want more of a price range, then it's sitting in between around 2000 approximately, going up towards around 2030. And this short term resistance is based on two different things. First of all, this previous high, obviously, we already have confirmed resistance right here. And on top of that, if you take a look at the Fibonacci retracement tool, we do have a Fibonacci level of resistance, the 78.6% Fibonacci level sitting at approximately 2020. So at least for now, that is the short-term resistance to pay attention to. But if we see a confirmed breakout above that resistance, then next I'll be targeting these previous highs that we saw back in April, sitting just above 2.1K. And as for important support here on the daily timeframe, we still have this price range sitting in between around 1770 up towards around 1820. And obviously in terms of the larger multi-month long trend, like I've been saying almost every day since the beginning of this year, the price of ETH is still in a larger bullish trend. And now if you're looking at the daily Ethereum price oscillators, first of all, the daily Ethereum RSI is looking relatively neutral to bullish, while the daily Ethereum MACD just confirmed a new bullish cross. But with that being said, it is still currently showing a relatively low momentum. So at least for now, we're looking more bullish than bearish in terms of the trend. But as of right now, we're lacking some of that bullish momentum that we saw back here, for example. And now if you're taking a look at the 12 hour ETH to US dollar chart, obviously over the last one day with that bullish altcoin news that I mentioned towards the beginning of this video, we have now invalidated this previous bearish divergence because not only have we seen a confirmed breakout in the 12 hour Ethereum RSI above this descending line of resistance, we have also now seen new higher highs in the RSI and the price action. So obviously we simply do not have any active bearish divergence anymore here on the 12 hour ETH chart. So as I said earlier, once again, as of right now, we are looking more bullish than bearish. And now if you're looking at the six hour ETH to US dollar chart, obviously the price of ETH has now completely invalidated the formation phase for this head and shoulders pattern. And now once again, as I've said in recent videos here on the channel, even though this potential pattern was forming, it had not yet confirmed anyway, because we still needed to see this right shoulder complete the formation phase with a move back down towards around 1820. And then we would have needed to see a confirmed break below 1820 in order to actually confirm and activate this pattern. So like I said, for the last few days, this was just something to pay attention to while it was potentially forming, but not something to act on, not something to open a trade for, for example, because once again, it didn't actually confirm at all. It was just potentially forming. And so once again, in terms of the trend, as of right now, we are looking more bullish than bearish because we have no more bearish divergence. We're forming higher highs and higher lows. But obviously consider the fact that in the immediate short term, it is possible to see short term cool offs even during a bullish trend. And now if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is either bullish or bearish using AI. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can make easy profits in a choppy sideways price range. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.